Automation to oblivion. Um, I wrote an article on this on LinkedIn. Uh, it's probably the wrong place uh, because a lot of people on there are just managers. <laughs> they're, well, they're, they're not. They're not people that engage. Um, they follow process. That's that's the polite way of putting it. But anyway, what am I talking about? Did you notice the big crash on the stock exchange with China recently? Do you know why that happened? Is it purely because they demand the four percent, four percent growth, whatever it is, every year? Um, I think it's more than that. The reality is, China is automating at a crazy level. Um, the West has. This is why we've suddenly gone get China to do the work, and then we think when there's little. Uh, this isn't a racist um, remark, by the way. The Chinese people are doing all these jobs for us. Reality is, China was doing that, but now they are pu pushing it, something like increasing their um, automation processes by 50% a year. That's 50% on last year. So they're increasing 50% every single year, and that will probably continue to increase. What's that mean? Well, that's how you stop wage rises, because you stop employing people. <laughs> um, and look where you are now. Doesn't matter what country you're in, just sit down and have a look out the window. How many people in your area are employed? Didn't hear much response there. But the, the point being is, as things become more automated, there's one thing we don't need, human beings. Um, it's the one thing we haven't had a call on. <laughs> well, though, the way the Middle East and the West are going at the moment, that may be coming very soon. But I just want to make people aware that automation is not always good. Um, and I know some people say, oh, you're socialist, you're socialist views, but it's not socialism. It's common sense. The fact is, the whole economic system is based on demand. So if you eventually have a high population unemployment, uh, which currently you have high people on benefits, which is different, they're unemployed, but they may still be working. But when you get to a certain tipping point, you will start to see factories cannot produce anything because the people have no money, because they have no jobs. The benefit system becomes irrelevant it doesn't work anymore um, everything goes into social decline and we are having social decline people can ignore it all they like but uh, the UK from its potholes in the rows to the regular cuts on things from policing to councils and I'll be honest with you the council shouldn't have as much money as they do because they really badly run things um, but the fact is, money's getting squeezed, and it comes down to unemployed going up, employed going down. Simple as that. But automation is the way everyone's going, outsourcing is the way to go, and hey, I'm just as guilty because I promote outsourcing. Um, but at the same time, I, I live out in the Philippines, I live in Spain, I live in other countries, so for me, I don't have that loyalty that people have to a country um, purely because I've lived in the UK probably less than I have overseas. Um, but also the UK has changed a lot. I can see politically how manipulated and dirty the politics are um, and how that is like a cancer and everything else. So. That's why I have very little loyalty to the UK. Um, I see myself more of a citizen of the world these days than anything else. It may sound a bit blasé, but I will not allow a country to use proud to be British or whatever to manipulate its own views. Um, because I hear a lot of people say, I'm proud to be British, then I ask the question, well, what does it mean to be British? which is, this is what you get.
a long hard pause because I have to go and think about it which they shouldn't do if they're proud to be British because it's the way they live it's their morals it's their integrity it's their um, British Empire-ness it's their promotion of the United Kingdom etc etc so yeah but automation um, I've seen it in the UK with large corporations which are moving out of the cities um, now bear in mind factory stuff we've been losing since the probably 40s and 50s um, when people started coming back from World War Two and the women returned to being the housewife um, and the guys took their jobs back and then the uh, women's movement moved in etc it's all been in vain because both jobs got replaced at the end of the day. <laughs> uh, I'm not knocking uh, freedom you know women's rights etc I'm just sort of having a laugh at the fact that we've we've watched our own industries go into decline and done nothing about it but also I would say we helped it I mean, I see, I remember a guy telling me this about the screwdriver. I've got screwdrivers that cost 30, 40, 30, 40 pounds each. Um, they're high voltage. Now, the funny thing is, he brought a screwdriver that had 10,000 volts written on the side of it. He bought it at the pound shop with a set. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I said, there's no way I'm going near anything this high voltage with your screwdriver um, because at the end of the day he said well you know it's only cost a pound um, <laughs> yes you may get electrocuted but the, the point being is a lot of people have that mentality we'll throw it away we'll throw it away we'll get another one and then, and then next week they get in a a bag for life, um, bag for the environment. <laughs> um, okay, I'm very mocking on this, but the um, the fact remains, bag for life, you pay more for that than the plastic bag. The screwdriver is for life when you buy an expensive one. Same as my uh, Marple's chisels. Um, I buy high-end stuff uh, because it's quality. Um, most people aren't these days. You may do. I mean, you may find that you do it with specific things. For example, if you're a musician, you don't buy <laughs> you don't buy a uh, plastic guitar or anything. You you know you go and buy the the best that you can afford. Um, but I just find it bizarre that people are actually helping automate the world because the end of it is that most people are not needed now it may sound a bit sad but the big thing nobody wants to talk about is population control <laughs> which if you're looking at economy shrinking um, work wise then they should have been in decreasing the population um, doesn't mean I agree with it or disagree with it I'm just saying that's the only way you can balance the books and they can all lie to us as much as they like with economics and how we're paying the interest on our debt or not because um, let's be honest economies in the West do not talk about real debt anymore it's too big they talk about paying the interest on it and we don't even manage that anymore it's a champagne Charlie lifestyle which is coming to an end um, but let me know what you think I just did a couple of these videos to see if anybody's interested also to see if anybody um, enjoys my viewpoint alright thanks for watching